Good morning, everybody, and greetings from Trumanville, capital of Skydustria, a country that cannot reliably make smooth stone. Let's fix that. Alright, and I'm going to start by making yep, eight of these yeah, BT batteries, which I will then convert into... Uh, two battery boxes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this clay into clay blocks. Inverted U of clay blocks on the top. Iron ingots on the side. Blue alloy ingot in the bottom center. Gives me a blue electric furnace. And finally, just to ensure that I have power for anything involving electricity, I'm going to go ahead and make myself a couple more solar panels. You'll notice that I've also got pneumatic tubes, blue alloy wire, and stone covers. Those will be important later. Alright. So now that I've got that, I'm going to go ahead, make my way to my stone works. Alright, go ahead and close the door here. Alright. Go ahead and start dismantling this build craft system. Yeah, there we go, like so. And what I'm going to do instead is go ahead and place pneumatic tubes. You know, like I was supposed to have in the first place, but I couldn't do it because I didn't have pneumatic tubes at the time I built this system. So I had to settle for uh, the uh, system with stone transport pipes and obsidian transport pipes and whatnot. Alright, I'm also going to go ahead and get rid of the iron furnace there, and replace it with the electric furnace, and you'll notice that that's now connected, which is fine, that's exactly what I want. Now, hmm, I don't really want to use brick. Do I have any sandstone left in here? Okay, yes I do. Good, I can use that as temporary scaffolding to get up to the roof. Alright. There we go. I know at some point I need to cover that back up with smooth stone. I had created that little jut out so that I could get the uh, cobblestone to the furnace before. I don't need that now. So, let's go ahead and put, see there's nothing above it, so I can put two solar panels there. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the two uh, battery boxes here and here. And if I put a blue alloy wire there, cover it with a stone cover. And no one will ever know that there's a uh, wire there. Alright. Now I just need to make my way back up to the roof because I need to connect these solar panels. Yeah. And actually it would be easier, I think, if I laid this like so. So then I could put the wiring like so. That should begin to charge the battery box. Yeah, you saw it charge and then decharge. Presumably into my electric furnace. Let's go ahead and get rid of my scaffolding. Alright, back into the stone works. Now with... Well, that's interesting. Unless... I think it is supposed to be like that, yeah. Now, you'll notice that it is trying to connect to this redstone engine. For whatever reason, Red Power considers those redstone engines to be valid inventories. A stone cover fixes that very nicely. Alright. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove that. I'm also going to go ahead and put a stone cover up here, just to make sure it doesn't inadvertently try to put something in the battery box. And then put all that like so. And now, let's see how charged up my blue electric furnace is. 
Yeah, two solar panels will charge it. Eventually. But it's not a particularly quick process. I'm actually going to go ahead and run over to my storehouse. Um, hoping I still have some smooth stone left there. I may not. Let's see here real quickly. Excuse me a moment. Alright. Which of these chests have my smooth stone? Let's see, that's cobble. So an ass slabs. Some bricks and the like. Hmm. It looks like I have no smooth stone. Also, uh, you notice how full that cobblestone chest is. I need to look. Do I have an answer to that? I think I might. Up here. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Alright. Yeah, I do have a solution. It does require eight gold and one iron. Iron stocks are getting a little bit low. I'm down to less than a stack at this point. Uh, four or five in Inga form and the rest in uh, crafting table, not the furnace. Alright. If I do this, yep, that gives me the iron to gold chest upgrade. That's another... Ah, sorry. At any rate, that's going to allow me to upgrade that chest... Iron chests, as you've noticed, have uh, 54 slots capacity. And let me make sure I'm getting the right chest here. This one. Yes. Now that's a gold chest, and as you can see, it's added three rows, expanding the capacity to 81 slots. That's going to be nice. Because I'm going to be... Because I get the feeling I'm going to be storing a fair bit of cobblestone. At least for the time being. And it's very possible that I may even have to shift that cobblestone over to a second chest. Alright. Okay, yeah, so it looks like my electric furnace is powered up. Now, I'm going to be really conservative until I see how long this takes. And I've set that timer to 10 seconds. A really long time, I know, but I want to make sure that, A, I'm not feeding cobblestone into this electric furnace faster than it can be smelted. Uh, okay, cancel that. It looks like I've fed that into the output slot. Uh, hmm. Well... There is a solution. Painful, it will be, but there is a solution to my little quandary. Ah, uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and clear out this part of the system here. Actually, probably been okay. Yeah, I just need a second uh, cover there. Yeah. Now I should, I know I wasted some Blutricity, and I do apologize for that. Okay. So now if I connect that like so, I'm going to let that run for a moment here. Let it generate uh, one unit of cobblestone. There is the one unit of cobblestone. And now I'm going to watch it to see where in this furnace it ends up. Okay, it's not getting a lot of power, so it's struggling to smelt, but I guess that's why I need it. Okay. Hmm. A little odd that that is that specific in terms of side, but hey, uh, I'm not going to question Elaram's uh, design choices. At least, I think it has something to do with... Hello! Uh... 
Okay, more design flaws, I guess. At any rate, I do have one unit of stone, so I can at least close that up. But, yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to relocate this again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put it there. And if I got that oriented correctly, this should work. Alright. Go ahead and place the blue alloy wire to make sure I can get power to this blue electric furnace. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and start this up again. It's going to take a few seconds. Like I said, I have that set to 10 seconds, and there's the first cobblestone. So if I'm right, the cobblestone should go right into the furnace, which then powers up, uh, depletes a lot of power, an alarming amount of power, actually. Uh, I should probably turn this off. It looks like I'm not going to have enough electricity to pull it off right away. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that like so. We should be fine. Alright. Let me check something with my bat boxes. Or my battery boxes. Sorry. I need to remember what they're called. I've got two different types of battery boxes. One for red power. One for... That's not the right cover I want there, is it? Yeah, it looks like not a lot of juice at this point. I mean, I can fix it later. If I can get more solar panels. Though I admit, solar panels are not a priority at the moment. Simply because I'm actually kind of low on Nikolite as well. I'm low on a lot of materials, come to think of it. You know what, I'm thinking I should probably go ahead and sleep for the night. Come back in the morning. Alright, so I slept through the night. And with any luck, the solar panels should be... Starting to provide power to my battery boxes. Hmm. Unless they're feeding all their power to my blue electric furnace. Which they actually could very well be. Yeah. Alright. I can at least get that boarded up. So that I can then... Take this redstone torch and use it to power this redstone engine. That gets the last of the stone out of the blue electric furnace. Now, hopefully we can start to build up some power in the battery boxes. Yeah, it's building up. It's not uber quick to build up, but it is building up. I suspect part of it, too, may be the fact that I have two battery boxes. And that's mostly a function of me wanting to make sure I have enough juice to last me the night. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do is, once I get enough juice, I'm going to take that chest there, under the day since last injury sign, and fill it up with smooth stone. And I'll return once I've done so. Alright, slight change of plans. Uh, that's a huge area, 64 by 64 I've cleared out. It's going to take 64 stacks of smooth stone to fill, and unfortunately my uh, red blutricity system for uh, smelting stone is... Well, it's using more power than I was expecting, and realistically more power than I can generate. So instead... I'm going to do something over here with this smaller area. I also have a specific plan for what I'm going to build here. So, looks like I have to put that there, put that on it. Uh, what? No, that's not going to work. Okay. So I guess I have to put that... Back like so. Well, that's strange that it did that. Wish I knew why. Hmm. Well, wait a minute. No, I forgot to plant this one over here, didn't I? Well, actually, though, 
now I'll plant it over here. Because it fits better into my plans over there anyway. Alright. So now I am going to write on that. And for whatever reason, it's not seeing. This over here. Which is odd. That's a straight line. Yeah, see now that sees it. Alright. There we go. Okay. Alright. Dig up this block here. Now, the recipe I'm going to give the filler is going to be nine bricks. That is going to actually fill it. I'm going to go ahead and load it up with sand down here. Grab my steam engines from there and there. Next to the filler, grab my redstone torch. And go ahead and fill them up with redstone. Or not redstone, charcoal. In case you're wondering, the reason I use uh, sand specifically is precisely because of that. Basically, it's going to try to fill the sand in across the top, uh, but then it's going to fall into and fill the water. Alright, so this whole thing is going to be covered with sand. Uh, once it's done filling this whole area with sand, and I'll likely have to grab more sand to fill it up completely. Uh, but the plan is that I will basically clear out this uh, fill recipe and replace it with a clear recipe. Now, because I only went the one layer, it's only going to clear the top layer of sand, leaving all of the sand that I had to fall into the holes underneath intact. And finally, I'm going to take some stone... Some smooth stone from my smooth stone generator. And yeah. And that will do the job, no? Hmm. Interesting. It seems to have slowed down a little bit, but oh well. At any rate, I'll return once I have this whole floor covered with sand. Alright, yeah, I forgot I had something else going on here. Alright. So the first thing I'm going to do is craft up more uh, copper cables. Uh, believe me, at this point, it seems like there's no such thing as too much cable. So here's what I'm going to do. All right. I'm going to go ahead and craft seven batteries. Alright. And two electronic circuits. Now, there are two things I'm looking to make here. The first is this. Uh, you might have seen me make this before. In fact, you probably have. Uh, I needed... No. No, you haven't seen me make this on camera. I needed to make one to make the minor work. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that was with wonkiness in recording, wasn't it? Yeah. At any rate, this is the recipe for the mining drill. And the other thing I need to make to make it useful is the bat pack. Alright? So now I'm going to run over to my foundry because that's going to be a better recharge station for this. Alright. Alright. I'm going to start by charging up the mining drill. Yeah. Not a small amount. About 10,000 10, EU in there. But that's fine. I still have 100,000 upstairs feeding into this bat box here. So, and now we fill up the bat box, which is a, quite a bit slower because it stores six times as much power. 60,000 EU. Alright, now give it a minute to charge up, 
meantime, which includes nothing in the Mace Raider, nothing in the Electric Furnace. That box is still charging. Uh, yeah, and it is still charging, and I think it's done. Go ahead and charge that battery up. And I'm actually going to wear the Bat Pack as armor. Bat Pack can be used as chest armor. Uh, it doesn't necessarily provide any damage protection. But if I can get uh, to a good place to demonstrate, I will show you why I've done Mining Drill Plus Bat Pack. Alright, let's get over here. Yeah, here seems a good enough place to do it. Alright, and now I just mine out some of the sand here. Yeah. Alright. And I'm mining, and you'll notice that it's not using any durability on the drill itself. Also, yes, that's redstone. Uh, custom ore placement is the mod that gives redstone a bit closer to the surface. Uh, retrospect, I'm not sure I had that configured right. Uh, simply because I seem to have too much tin and copper and not enough iron and whatnot. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and dig this out here so that I can get to this redstone however far it goes down. Hopefully it doesn't go too much further down. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Mmm, it does go quite a bit further down, doesn't it? Yeah, alright. In the meantime, you can see that it's the Bat Pack that's taking the hit, and not the Mining Drill. See, what the Bat Pack does when I have it equipped is it basically recharges certain uh, electrical devices that are on my person. Alright. Yeah, that redstone goes a good ways down. Alright. But yeah. Alright. In the meantime, uh, let's see if that needs... You know what? It might need some more materials. So I'm going to go ahead and refill that. Uh, try to dig that shaft out with the mining drill. Trying to keep it up to the sky. And yeah, I will return. Alright. So this whole area is now officially cleared out. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the bricks back in there. That is going to refill it now. And now I'm going to fill it up with some stone. And I know this isn't quite enough stone. I'm short, actually, about five stacks to complete the job. And then I'm going to load up these engines with coal. Or charcoal, rather. And you can see the stone being placed for the floor. And that is, in fact, exactly what I want. And as we watch the floor of the first part of the renovation of the high school into a university, as it is being built, I have to say this would be a good place to end the episode. This has been Sky Duster, everybody. Thank you for watching. Please rate comment, and or subscribe.